welcome to problems and solutions today we will solve problem 58 of chapter 9 of fundamentals of physics in the figure block 2 here of mass 1 kilogram is at rest on a frictionless surface and touching the end of an unstretched spring of spring constant 200 newtons per meter the outer end of the spring is fixed at wall. Block 1 of mass 2 kg, traveling at speed of 4 meters per second, collides with block 2, and the two blocks stick together. When the blocks momentarily stop, by what distance the spring is the spring compressed? Okay. It's important to note in this problem that we cannot use the energy conservation directly. Because in the collision, here we have an inelastic collision, so the energy will not be conserved in this collision. That is, part of the kinetic energy of block 1 will be transformed in heat and uh, also in deformation so therefore the energy the mechanical energy will not be conserved but we can use the conservation of the momentum the linear momentum in the collision because the force is acting between one and two block one and two will be internal force so we can write that before the collision we have the momentum m1 multiplied by v1 that is the momentum of the block 1 block 2 is at rest this equals the momentum after the collision that is m1 plus m2 and let's write v2 this is the 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 loss the speed of both blocks after the collision so we know we can find the velocity of both blocks after the collision it will be m1 divided by the sum m1 plus m2 multiplied by v1 now after the collision the both blocks will, will force the the spring we compress the spring so we can use here the conservation the energy conservation because after the collision will be a, a conservative situation so we can write that the kinetic energy of both blocks that is half of m1 plus m2 the velocity or of both blocks the, the speed of both blocks they are uh, stick together squared this is the connected energy this equals the energy of the spring compressed that is one half of the constant of the spring multiplied by the distance the spring is compressed is squared Therefore, we can write that the distance that spring will be compressed equals, here we can cancel this, so equals m1 plus m2 divided by k multiplied by 
the velocity of both blocks after the collision is squared. Substituting, substituting the, this velocity by uh, this velocity written in terms of the, the velocity of the block 1, we will have here m1 squared divided by let's put it divided by m1 plus m2 squared and v1 also squared and here we can cancel this with this therefore we will have m1 squared divided by k well, better m1 squared divided by k multiplied by m1 plus m2 multiplied by v1 squared and therefore we'll have here m1 divide by so let's do it better divide by square root oops, square root of k multiplied by m1 plus m2 multiplied by v1. Here is the solution of the problem. Now let's use our numerical values. Block 2 has mass 1 e block 1 has mass 2. So you have 2 divided by square root of 200, 200 newtons per meter, so 200, multiplied by m1 plus m2, that is 3, multiplied by v1, v1 is 4 meters. So, there we have, let's use our, our calculator, 2 multiplied by 4, divided by, here is not necessarily the parentheses, divided by square root of 200 multiplied by 3, that is 0.33. Or 33 centimeters. Okay. And here we have the solution of the problem. Therefore, the problem is solved. Mm -hmm.